everybody, this is Symphonic Elk and I'm coming at you with a quick Pokemon card opening. I will be opening a box of Vivid Voltage. I'm mostly going to be looking for what is fondly called the Fat Pikachu. You can see him right here. Um, yeah, so uh, let's get started. So, Vivid Voltage is still, I think, somewhat difficult to find out in the wild, but it's getting much, much easier. Um, definitely check out your local Walmart or Target, or if you have a hobby shop, definitely check out them, or order it online. So let's see what we're going to get. Let me go through these quickly, just mainly looking for full arts or uh, ooh, here's a Charizard uh, reverse foil. So that's a pretty good one. Nothing really to write home about there. A Zarud V. I may be mispronouncing some of these. I'm not super familiar with the newer Pokemon, uh, but wanted to help out my local card shop so i picked up a box of, of this again also kind of wanted the uh the new pikachu super rare or super rare hyper rare or whatever it's called oh, jolteon Pokemon these days quite um, quite popular. The new Charizards from uh, the last couple sets of Special Champions Path are very valuable from a collector standpoint. I'm not entirely sure how useful they are in the game, but you know, when you get them graded, you're never going to use them. So. I guess it doesn't really matter. I haven't played Pokemon in a number of years, but I did, I did enjoy it. That's kind of a cool looking card, Heroes Metal. I did enjoy it when I was younger. Um, my son got into it a little bit a couple of years ago. Um, now, if I buy it, it's mostly just as a collector. Um, I know that a lot of people do that as well, as Pokemon have been very popular. A Colossal V. Um, a lot of people have been getting into it uh, lately. Not just the uh, the newer cards, but especially some of the older base set cards. And I'm I'm lucky enough to have some of them. I have some first edition base set. Also, as well as some shadowless ones, like I do have a cha shadowless Charizard, Blastoise, and Venusaur. Um, so yeah, I mean, happy to have those. Would love to have a first edition. Uh, here we go. This is a Orb Beetle V Max. So it looks like a large UFO ladybug. Kind of cool. Unfortunately, not Pikachu. But again, if you're going to look for a card and buy a box, unless it's a common, it's probably pretty stupid to do it this way. Oh, here's the Orbeetle V. 
Um, you'd be much better off just buying the card, in theory. Once you get super lucky, which I never do. So, we will just do this for fun. at the moment because I am not a Pokemon master. <laughs> well, Lord, that's funny. I think at some point they've kind of run out of good ideas for Pokemon. So <laughs> you've got like Mudbraid the donkey. <laughs> Alistair. So you get a lot of a lot of weird ones. Voltorb, Clefable. There are a lot of packs, kind of used to the um, sports cards, where you only get sometimes one to. 12 packs. Here, 24, 36, something like that. Uh, Garbodor. This is always one of my favorite because he's, he's trash. Literal trash. Rock, rock. It looks like we might have something here. That's a uh, rainbow rare, I think this is what it's called. I'm not sure if this one's worth anything, but. And it's certainly not Fat Pikachu. But. Yeah, I'd be happy with this Guinness Cup. Not Pikachu, but I would guess at this point that ship has probably sailed. Honestly, it probably had sailed prior to. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. That was. That's. That's amazing. So amazing. Wow, look at this. This is awesome. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> wow, okay. Well, I guess the ship hadn't sailed. It was just, uh, <laughs> wow. Anyway, let's, let's finish this, uh, this box off. So I already have one, um, one of the Pikachus coming. I, 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 like I said, when you want something, it's, it's usually uh, better to, <laughs> to just buy it instead of like pack searching. Um, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to have pulled it out of the pack. It's just nothing quite, nothing quite the same as this one big, big card. 
I'm gonna have to send that one off to get graded most likely. Let's check it real quick. Um, it's hard to tell through the camera. But it is definitely, well, I probably won't be sending this one off to get great. It is definitely off-centered. That kind of sucks, but still, yeah, super happy. Super, super, super happy. Um, yeah, wow. <laughs> uh, good times. Good, good times. All right, uh, I got two more packs left. Yeah, you know what I'm gonna do? I am not gonna open this pack. I usually keep one pack um, with pack art that I like from each set. Um, I keep it sealed. Since I already picked the one out uh, that I was looking for, and I can't imagine that there's gonna be something in that pack that um, you know to, to pull. I'm gonna stop where I'm at, and uh, yeah, man. Anyway. Thanks, uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching, and, and thanks for spending a bit of your day with me. Um, happy holidays. Yeah. Have a good one.